AppSource is a repository browser and code review tool that allows us to navigate our repository, initiate and participate in code reviews. It currently supports Git, Mercurial, Perforce and Subversion. The first thing we see when we open up AppSource is a list of configured projects, where each of these correspond to a specific repository. If we click on one of these projects, we then see a list of recent commits for that project. For each entry, we can see the commit message, who it was by and when it took place. Clicking on each entry also shows us all of the files that took part in this commit. AppSource also provides us a nice visual diagram of the different branches in our repository. Going to the top, we can search throughout our commits. So for instance, if I want to type the word license, it would show me all commit messages that contain the word license. I could also do searches by author. So for instance, let's see what Jonathan has checked in. Of course, we can even do searches by branch. So if I type branch, it will display a list of branches. I can select the branch and see that specific branch. We can also do a little bit more complex searches. So for instance, let's see what Marcus has been up to in the early days of July. So we look for Marcus and we say that we want everything that Marcus has checked in after the end of June and before sometime the 5th of July, for instance. And this shows me all of Marcus's commits during that period of time. Clicking on a specific commit, we see a list of files involved and we can expand these to see a diff that happened in that commit. Upsource also provides us the ability to do a side-by-side -side diff, which gives us a better view in terms of differences that occurred in the commit. Now notice something very important. At the very top, there's a little yellow box currently, and this box can be green, yellow, or red. And this is in fact IntelliJ IDEA's static analysis engine acting. Upsource currently supports static analysis in Java projects that use IntelliJ IDEA or Maven as their build system. It analyzes the files using the same static inspections IntelliJ IDEA has. This immediately provides us with insight into whether a recent commit has made any potential changes that could introduce a warning or even an error. We can click on each of these to find out what exactly that warning or error could be. As we hover over the different symbols in this file, we can see that AppSource allows us to select them. Selecting an element shows us documentation for it. So for instance, here we're seeing documentation for the string class. But we can do other things. Let's for instance select this Docker exception. And we can see that AppSource provides us the ability to go to the declaration. If we click on it, it will navigate to that declaration. From there, we can do for instance, view hierarchy to see the hierarchy who the ancestors are or the inheritors. And in addition, we can do find usages. And this will show us the usages of this Docker exception throughout the project for this specific revision. Because if we go back to the Docker check-ins, we can see that we are on a specific revision. And at any time, we can also browse the entire code base for that revision. So clicking on browse code, we are now seeing a snapshot of that specific revision and all of the files in that specific commit. In addition, we can also navigate directly to symbols. So for instance, I could start to type doc and it would show me anything that starts with doc, including the source symbols, library symbols, and text occurrences. It also supports camel case. So for instance, if I were to type KCC, it would show me anything that uses that camel case, which in this case could be, for instance, kill container command. We can navigate to kill container command and again from here navigate and do view hierarchy, etc. Beyond symbol lookup, we can also do textual searches. So for instance, if I were to type signal and say look for that word, it would show me everything that starts with the word signal or contains the word signal. AppSource is of course a code review tool, which means that we can create code reviews as well as participate in code reviews. When we log in, we have a news feed which shows us all the activities in terms of code reviews and comments that is going on. We can click on the reviews tab to see our reviews as well as all reviews and recent files that are taking part in reviews. Let's see how we can initiate a new review. Let's scroll down and find some particular commit. 
For instance, over here, and I have a static file interceptor and fav icon interceptor specs. So let me go ahead and click on this file, and I see that there are some changes. I'm now going to go and view the file. Now I can see that this file apparently is great, but I'm not a big fan of extra spaces. So what I'm going to do is select this method and say start code review. And I'll say please remove all these extra white lines that are not necessary. And I can now start this code review. And what happens is that now I can link directly to this code review from here. So I'll click on it and Upsource opens up that code review page. From here, I can now see the complete history of the code review and also add reviewers as well as watchers. So let me go ahead and add a reviewer. For example, I'm going to add Martin. And I'll leave a little comment for Martin. What do you think? Should we remove these lines? So I'll add this comment. And what I can also do is mention someone else in this review and say, you know, while you don't need to do anything active in this review, I would like you to watch it. So for instance, I could say, please monitor these changes and then hit completion to get a specific user. Now let's see what happens when Martin logs in. Martin's now logged in and if he clicks on reviews, he can see that he has an unread review. He can click on it and see the whole history of that review. Now from here, he can add a comment, for instance, say, yes, I agree. You do it, Hadi. And leave that comment. And now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and make those changes and check in the file. I've made the changes and committed to source control. And now Upsource tells me that there are new revisions available. If I click on it, it will take me to this new revision. And I can see that I've had the extra lines removed. So what I can do is click on this revision. And at this point, what I can say is I'd like to attach this to an existing review. And I know that that review is open, which is the removing of extra lines. So I'll click that. And now this file has been attached. This revision has been attached to this specific review. So if we click on revisions, we can see it. So I've got no more work to do with this actual review and what I will do is close it. Now one thing to note about Upsource which is very important and that is that reviews if they remain open they will be visible throughout different revisions. Let's take a look at this review here. We can see that we have a review open and this is dated July 17. But if we move to more recent commits we can see that we've made changes to that app server file. If we open this revision we can see that this file has some changes. And if we click to view file, we can see that this revision is available and visible to us. And this revision is different from when the actual review started. So this is BD0 D981. And if we click on the review, we can see that this is part of a different actual revision, which is FBC3EBE. And this is important to understand that when a review is open, it will always be visible throughout the different revisions. One other important aspect about Upsource is that pretty much everything is shareable via URL. So let's click on this file and I can select, for example, some code. And what I can do is say link to selection. I can now copy that and send it to a colleague. When they paste it in the browser, they can see that section of code highlighted. In much the same way, we can do this for revisions as well as pointing to a specific file. We can also, of course, just comment lines of code. Not always do we have to start a revision. And to each of these comments, we can also reply, as well as mention people. Upsource also provides access to analytics. We can see commit activity over time per contributor. We can see commit distribution by project modules and the responsibility each developer has, as well as contribution details and commits per contributor. Now, if this is a Java project, we can have breakdowns of this into different modules. By clicking on the contributors, we can see a list of contributions over a certain time span. And scrolling down, we can see all of the different developers and the amounts of contributions they've been having.
Going back to analytics and clicking on responsibility, we can see a breakdown of responsibility per modules. So we can see here all of the different modules in the IntelliJ project and who's been responsible for what areas and what they've committed. And last but not least, clicking on contribution details, we can also see a list of contributions per developer and see their activity over a certain period of time. We've just seen an overview of some of the features Upsource provides currently. However, these are early days and we're working on bringing more functionality such as integration with IDEs, Team City, and issue trackers, as well as improving existing features.